bye. Um, what I'm gonna do today is show you a tip. It's on how to remove the staples. Got a couple of boat seats right here. I actually got three. I done removed staples on some of, some of them, so I decided to make this short video on how to show you to remove these staples. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the cover on here. I'm just gonna show you how I removed the staples on the boat seat quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. That way you ain't got to click off or try to fast forward. This is gonna be pretty quick. All right, this is your regular boat seat. These right here have plastic on the bottom, which is good because most of the newer boats has got the plastic on the bottom and uh I don't, I don't really have to show you both of them i'm just going to show you how to do one of them that way if you can do one you can do them all all right first thing you're going to need some razor blades probably just one you need a sharp one they don't usually last too long after cutting into this hard final but you see how the staples are right here they go right down the edge all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this razor blade and i'm gonna cut right next to the staples as close as i can get because i just don't want to have to grind too much off but i'm gonna show you exactly how this right here goes this is instead of taking uh, a staple puller or something and trying to pull every staple out. I'm here for a long time pulling all these staples. And this right here is going to achieve exactly the same thing of, of sitting here and pulling all them staples. You see they're side by side. That kind of tells me they were using a uh, automatic staple gun like mine is semi-automatic it you have to match the trigger every time you get a staple out of mine but a lot of these companies they buy in bulk and they just load up the staples in in the seat So you see, I'm already, I'm already around it. Be careful with that razor blade. You don't want to never let one slip and catch your hand. And, and if you're trying to get a pattern out of it, all you do is just add just a little bit to it. See, it's already off. There you go. All right. Then you can come in here like this. Maybe you can see what I'm doing. I want you to anyway. All right. Why don't you just come in here like this and pull this pad. Pull this pad. I usually just kind of pull it back like this because it. A lot of times people glue it on there and if I pull it back it most time it, it won't pull a big chunk out of the uh, foam rubber see how that one stuck if I pull it back like that it won't tear it up see it's pretty smooth all right so we're gonna come right in here cut these tabs got the cover off this is the way I'm gonna take the staples out I'm just gonna move this 
down just a little bit. Anyway, you take a side grinder just like this. It don't have to be just like this. They make them smaller. Just come right in here. I would advise using some, uh, if you don't wear glasses, you might want to use some safety glasses. All right. So that's, that's the way, the cheap, the, the easiest way to uh, get the staples out of the board instead of having to, I don't know how many hundreds of staples it was. I, and, and uh, I'm not saying that I ain't, I, that I don't pull the staples out sometimes because I, uh, I have. I have just sat there and pulled the staples out if I had a little extra time or whatever. But time is money. I, I would still be pulling them staples out right now. I might not even be halfway done with it. And you see, I'm already done with it. So, and on this side clean that's the end of the video i hope this helps it uh it always helps me to look on youtube and see if i can find an easier way or a chip or a tip to see if i can speed up the process or y'all tune in and subscribe thank you